I am Top Orlando Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country. We're at 4768 Robbins Avenue, Orlando, Florida, 32808 here in La Jolla Cove. And this property is one of those gems, one of those homes that everybody, brand new on the inside, beautiful curb appeal, nice corner lot, everything I mean everything you'd look for so let's talk about what that is so first the purpose of this video is to give you what you can't see if you just look at the best video pictures online on realtor.com Trulia homes.com Google how do I know because I'm the one who took and posted those pictures so people call me and say well, what's it really like to live here it's a neighborhood really like here on a weekday afternoon so we're gonna look around see what you don't normally see in the pictures just get a feel for the neighborhood get a feel for the house for a couple different areas and viewpoints there's a backyard there if you're even thinking about buying a home here in Orlando West Orlando La Jolla Cove here Anywhere in land, I want you to call me, Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax. I've been listing and selling homes every day, full time, day in and day out, for 32 years. I've sold thousands of homes. I think I've personally sold more homes than any other realtor currently working. There's 19,000 realtors in Orlando. For my career, I think I've personally sold more homes than anybody. So I could probably help you too. So we're looking at the curb appeal here, getting a feel for the neighborhood, and then we'll go inside. This house is not a three bedroom, two bath, let's do better. Four bedrooms, two baths, totally remodeled inside. Built in 1993. Look at that cute little walk, oh my goodness. 1,208 square feet living area. 1632 for the entire slab and we say welcome home first thing to get is that wow factor so why is this a perfect home well one there's not a mark on the wall not a ding it's got the type of flooring everybody wants four bedrooms two baths great price range the garage is so clean, you could actually like move into it, eat in there, and the amount of upgrades, little skylights, for example, are just stunning. Do you like that roof outside? It's only a couple of years old. AC is only one year old. The house was just replumbed. Look at those architectural features that were lovingly added. All the concerns that people have. What about the roof? Done. What about the plumbing? Done. What about the AC? Brand new. What about the water heater? My gosh, just six months ago the water heater was replaced. Wish I could just get custom built-in architectural featured shelves in the laundry room. We're right there. We've got granite counters, nice bright lights. Look at that shot down the hallway. And the four bedrooms. Now, La Jolla Cove has an HOA, but it's only $53 a quarter, which is ideal. A lot of people want a large corner lot. We've got one here. We've got nice trees, upgraded landscaping. Look at that tile. I wish I had that in my house. And one of the things that makes this house special is that was done by the owner. You couldn't buy that. You could even hire a contractor to put something like that in. They wouldn't even know what you were talking about. Those kind of features make the house seem far more valuable than it really is. That bathroom, I've seen $700,000 homes that don't have bathrooms this nice. And it's all redone. I mean all redone. Brand new tub, new sink, new mirror. 
Everything is perfect. Taxes are only $908 a year, a year. Look at that inset in that ceiling, that tray ceiling. I don't think I've ever seen a house under $500,000. It has such a nice ceiling. The fan is brand new. The place is immaculate. Even a nice light fixture in the closet. Not one of those little pull down one things. Flooring all the way in. This is the master. Skin, nice lights. Closet, flooring, big room back here. Look at those walls are perfect. When was the last time you've ever seen a master bedroom under 500,000 that had these hand lights put in? And look at this bathroom. Brand new, be the first person to use a toilet. Look at that, double sinks. That is beyond amazing. Every feature, every detail, every plug, every switch has been fixed, cleaned, repaired, replaced. Going through here, I think I ought to live here. Let's go into the back. Before the back, we gotta go into the garage. Just so you can see what it is I am talking about. No rattle. Look how smooth that is. And look at this floor. This garage is nicer than entire houses in this price range. Like that water heater? Still got the sticker on it. Six months old. Holy cow. So now we're in the side yard. You say, yeah, I just wish I had a big fenced yard for my kids. Oh, I already have it. Not only that, it's sub-fenced. If you want a smaller little play area, You've got this area. Wish I had pavers in my... Oh, we do have pavers. In the backyard, we have pavers. Look at that. So that area can be all gated off. You've got a small dog, small children. Yeah, but it's Florida. I wish we had some fruit trees. That would really help me feel like I was living the Florida lifestyle. Yeah, but just one fruit tree. What about other ones? And I know that's a fruit tree. I think that's a mango, I believe. But just one fruit tree, that ain't enough. We got to have a couple. Yeah, but I wish I had a big storage area, a place that could keep all my extra stuff to keep my garage clean. Shoot, someplace maybe I could even turn into a small house. Just I don't like my kids and I can tell them to move out there. Oh, that's right. Just paint it even. Really want some big oak trees. Oh, we got the big oak trees. Just like everyone wants. Big corner lot. Look at that AC unit. Brand new there. 